Hello ladies and gentlemen and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Alex of Small Cars Direct and I'm here to present a Smart 4.2 to you here today. It's the one litre mild hybrid drive which essentially just means it's got start stop technology. It's a Passion Cabriolet automatic and it is ULES compliant. Featured features the also, as you can see, the silver tridian cell with the blue metallic body panels sits beautifully, it must be said, on the 15-inch uh, 12-spoke bright silver alloy wheels. And mileage terms, it's covered 54,408 miles from you. Road tax is a tiny £20 a year and it can achieve anything up to 70 miles per gallon, which is the claimed extra urban cycle figure. Insurance should be really reasonable to insure because insurance group six out of 50, it's a really low insurance group, and it comes with an MOT through to July 2023 with no advisories, and that was carried out less than 10 miles ago. The next journey for this vehicle is to be serviced so it'll just be serviced ready for your ownership and it's uh, got a good history record I've got evidence of servicing it 3,000 6,000 10,000 28,000 and 48,000 it's recently had a brand new battery fitted as well and it comes with a few optional extras such as the uh, Pioneer navigation system with uh, Bluetooth and USB inputs. Also has the lockable storage compartment and it has an aftermarket cup holder solution which needs to be fitted but it is in the car ready. And I'll show that to you shortly. I just want to get up close and personal just to show you all of the uh, minor imperfections. So, so we've got a couple chips here on this corner but obviously the size of my thumb in comparison it's quite small. And there's a very small crack down at the very bottom section of the bumper corner down there. We'll obviously take a step back and to uh, highlight these items to you normally it would be quite difficult. If we want to look at the screen then. The screen is looking nice and clean actually. I think there's actually a, a receipt that I saw in the history file for a new screen being fitted just a few years ago. So that explains probably why that's so clean which is nice. Headlights are looking nice and clear. And then scrutinising the wheels. They're in lovely order. They're 13 years of age. We've got loads of tread remaining on this corner. And then looking down the side then you see you've got the nice silver contrasting uh, wing mirror covers which are in great order. And then this driver's door is looking really really good plastic body panels anyway so they're relatively easy just to swap out if you ever needed to and then zooming in on this wheel you can see that that is virtually imperfection free really really good condition and again looks virtually brand new tyre that hardly anywhere at all looking at the rear end then again really bright in appearance looking good just a few scratches here very small collection just here concentrated just here i guess people may have been lazy with the key as such but that's about it for the rear is that a nice little oh, it's a cobweb huh, happy days got a few marks here and it looks like someone's tried to touch those in just there but again compare it to the size of my thumb relatively small take a step back I can't say they're overly noticeable at all but if we zoom in on this wheel then you can see that's looking good is that a mark there or just a bit of dirt it's a bit of dirt so that's good and then again loads of tread on this corner too there are a few marks here again I think somebody tried to touch these in the looks of it not very well. 
couple of light scratches there alongside it too but again I kind of put my finger against just give you an idea of the size that is probably it in terms of notable imperfections on the car so obviously all being said and done looking good that passenger door looks great obviously massive shine on the paintwork which is nice to see and there's the wing mirror cover there too let's take a look inside then and it's probably worth mentioning at this point that we do offer a nationwide delivery service so the reason why I'm being so thorough and why I am so thorough with the videos is because I want you to have the confidence to have the vehicle delivered to your door so you're not surprised or anything when it turns up or you may even just want to see the video to uh, have the confidence to understand the vehicle's condition to work out if it's worth coming to view the car which you can do viewings are available by appointment six days a week and you can even reserve this car right now from as little as 100 pounds to avoid disappointment i'm sure there'll be many people interested in owning a fun affordable low road tax cabriolet there is the usb input just in there and then there's a lockable storage compartment there's the Pioneer nav unit, which is touchscreen. You've got the uh, dash pods just there, which give you the revometer and the uh, the time clock. The steering wheel in nice order. And what I'll do is I'll jump in the driver's side and I will start the smart car for you. So you can see that it starts fine, no hesitation, no warning lights, etc. Idles perfectly. Even in there, it's nice and clean. Door card, same story. Do have some wear to the fabric, ever so slight, but nothing too offensive. And a very, very small little hole just there. Again, size of my thumb. Very small little nick in the fabric but yeah on the whole I'd say it's very very nice indeed even got a smart emblazoned driver's floor mat which is always a nice sight let's jump in then just turn the key to the right foot on the brake and off she goes nice and quiet very smooth running I must say and there's the Pioneer nav screen loading up. Just give that a second. Also be worth me trying the air conditioning. I wouldn't expect it to be cold because a lot of the time on these older cars they just never seem to work for whatever reason. There's your nav screen. Different modes. USB Phone you can link your phone via Bluetooth Do I think that's getting ice cold? I don't think so, no. I could always see if it's something as simple as a regas if it is. I'll see if I can see to that. If not, it'll probably be too cost prohibitive to uh, go any further based on the vehicle's age, but I can always have a look into that if it so bothered you. Just let me know. Got the passenger airbag there. Revs freely. The roof operates perfectly. There's two stages to the roof. This first section here 
is the first stage and then you have to press the button again when you get to this point and that will just lower the whole roof down as far as it will go. Now what's also interesting other than the mileage which is 54408 is the way in which you can get rid of these bars completely for a full top-down driving experience. There's a couple of clips as you can see on the other side there so if I pull mine that will just loosen the bar here and then you just need to pull it out from the front like so. Wow look at that and obviously that will give you a full top-down experience. If you just pop the boot you can actually put well anything up to 100 kilos in here but uh, it's actually made for these roof bars like so amazing made to fit got some tire weld emergency puncture repair gunge there for you and then this is where the engine is kept underneath and i can show you that nice and clean under there exactly as you'd expect to find it and then you just literally just lock that pin back in to close off the engine cover and pop these back in underneath on the corners there and you've got all that space up to the back of the driver's seat which obviously you can slide and tilt forward to get various items in Let's also have a look in the front then. You just open these tabs out all the way. Same for this one. Open the tab out all the way and then just literally pull the bonnet towards you. It literally is as easy as that. Then you'll find you do have some little holes to place the bonnet into to rest it securely. So you've got your screen wash topped up for coolant, correct level, and your clutch and brake fluid correct level as well and all that is looking really really fresh and tidy let's pop the bonnet back on then what you'll find you have to do is you have to locate the little lugs on the side in there but then also on the very outer edge as well so there's two locating points to be wary of to make sure that the bonnet goes back nice and flush I've had a bit of practice now so I can do it whilst holding the phone the camera there we go you'll know because it will sit completely flush and if it doesn't look right it's because you've not got one of those two locating points on each side off so it'd be quite a simple remedy if you've not got it sorted and um, we do offer finance even on a vehicle of this age um, and part exchange is possible as well let's just get that roof back up for you just so I can show you the condition of the roof, which is uh, it's good. There's no holes, there's no tears. It's all looking nice, nice and solid. Now it's looking, huh, of course, it's looking for the bar that I didn't put back. So no damage done. It's just saying to me, where have you taken the bar? So. Let's put that back in. Well, it is easy, I must say. Do it with one hand, look. Ha! Easy as that. It's like Meccano. The roof, we gave it a good clean on the exterior. Although it does look marked still. So I'm not sure what you're going to be able to do about that other than um, dyeing it. But then you don't really want to dye a roof because then it may go brittle. So we've cleaned it and uh, that's as good as we've got it. It's not bad. Like I say, there's no leaks. It's watertight. There's no nicks or tears in it at all. So yeah, there you go. 
got any further questions, please do get in touch. My name is Alex of Small Cars Direct. Really do look forward to hearing from some of you soon. And many thanks for watching.